Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I Welcome back to the Meet the Branches channel. My name is Shania and today I'll be doing a day in the life of an online school student. So I hope you guys like this video and subscribe if you haven't and please comment down below if you like videos like these. So I am currently logging into my science class because I have science this morning and it's currently 8.23 and here is my science class. I have it in my headphones right now so you can't really hear anything but basically she'll put up a question on the board and then we'll like answer them. But yeah, that's pretty much what we do. And the teacher is there to teach you. Your mom's not teaching you. It's just the teacher. And that's pretty much what it is. They're labeling the digestive system with the blackboard tools. And so I put up the esophagus. I think that's pretty cool. We have a whiteboard and we can write, write down what we got or whatever. So I just wanted to show you some of that. And then also, I could put a smiley face. If she says something, I could put LOL. I could put applause. I could put confusion. I could put approval, disapproval slower or faster and so those are like things to let your teacher know like how you are and then check in x if they tell you if you understand this give me a green check if you don't give me red x then you do that you can raise your hand and then you could put step away from the session like if you have to leave like if i'm going to use the bathroom i could put away but i'm not but i'll basically tell you more after my class so i can tell you what i'm going to do today more about NCBA, the perks. So let me go ahead and finish this class and I'll pop up again afterwards. All right, everyone. So I just got out my science class and it was pretty fun. Today we learned about the digestive system and it was pretty cool. Um, but anyways, I guess it's now time for me to do a rundown on my day. So let me pull it up real quick. Okay, so I had written down at eight o'clock, I was gonna get up and start the video. 8.15 to 8.45, I was going to go to science class which I did, and then now it's 8.45, so I'm going to go ahead and start on work. And so at nine o'clock, I will begin to help Shiloh with her schoolwork. As you guys know, we're doing a remote learning, so 9.30 to 10 o'clock, I'm gonna do my workout. 10 o'clock to 10.30 is history class, and then I also wait for the bus to get breakfast. Then 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, I gotta do my chores and my laundry, because I gotta do my laundry over there. Um, if I have extra time, I might just take a little mini break. We'll see. Okay, so this is the OMS. So if you're going to middle school, this is how it will look. Basically, these are your live classes, your events. So today I had science, which I already went. Um, I'm having history, then math, and then my virtual ensemble. So, and then on the left side will be your actual assignments to do. So each color represents a class. These are all my classes and the assignments. And I don't really have a lot of assignments today, so that'll be good. I don't normally do art until Friday I just because everything in art is due on Friday so I don't really have to do it today so I just leave it for Friday to do and then I just get my regular daily assignments done that has to be due today so that's pretty much it every day I check my announcements I check my emails and I also check my schedule because that depends on what's going to be happening so I'm going to go ahead and check my announcements now I don't really get a lot of announcements from my teachers. The only teacher that really gives announcements is my ELA teacher. So let's see what she said today. Well, she said, good morning, welcome back. I hope everyone had enjoyable and restful break. There's no podcast this week. Episodes will re resume next week. Blah, 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 blah. So I gotta read that myself because obviously that wouldn't matter to you guys. But pretty much by reading this, 
Normally we will have like a podcast where my teacher gives an interview with her students or other teachers in, in CBA and we'll go on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever and listen to the podcast. And then we'll go to GoFormative, which is another website where you get to learn and you'll submit your answers there. So pretty much I get a hundreds every time because it's a really easy grade and it's actually pretty fun. So yeah, and that's what I like about it. Like these teachers actually give you something fun to do. Like that's fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the science and then we'll go on and move on to the next thing which is help Shiloh with math, which I hope she's up because <laughs> she got some work to do. All right, let's get on. Okay, so I was going to do science, but she didn't open up the actual class yet. So obviously if it would be ready to go, you would just click it. So I'm just going to wait later to do that, um, which is fine. That's great. So let's go ahead and go find Shiloh because it is currently 9 a.m. and I got to move on so I can be on track for the day. So let's go ahead and go find Shiloh. You gotta say good morning to the Brat fam. Oh, look at that cute girl. She was laying in China's bed, but we got to the school and she ran in here and she went in my bed. So we're gonna get started, right, Shiloh? I know, I know it. I wanted to do it too. Well, let me get this girl up and we'll start school. Guys, my bed's not made, so please excuse that. Okay, my friend, today's the day a people. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mom? Okay, you ready? Would you rather have seven cupcakes or nine cupcakes? That's what we're doing. All right, you guys, so Mia Shallow just finished her math work. <clears throat> and it's currently 9.33, so we had a little late start and a little late ending as well. So now we're going to see what I have left to do for the day. Right now, I need to be working out. So I'm gonna go ahead and work out. All right, you guys, so I just finished my workout and that was a pretty good workout. Um, I did the one on Nike Plus. It's called the quick core and glutes and it's pretty good, but I am done. So I pretty much have nine minutes to kind of rest, I guess. Take a mini break, listen to music, chill. I'm gonna see if my science opened up yet. And let's see that real quick. All right, you guys, so I'm currently in history class, which is kind of funny because if you guys don't know, my sister is my history teacher, my sub, history teacher and so it's kind of cool but yeah so she's in her room teaching in her classroom and I'm in my room learning from her classroom a lot of people think it's weird it is pretty weird but um yeah so that is what I'm currently doing everyone okay so I'll see you guys when I'm done with my class <laughs> hey guys so I just picked up our breakfast you got French toast sticks with fruit punch. Okay. So we're gonna eat that and then we will move on to the next thing. I'm not sure what else is on my schedule, but we'll move on. Okay, so I'm in the dining room. I just ate breakfast and I just finished my science quiz and I got a hundred. So now I'm about to do chores. I'm about to do my laundry, clean the kitchen. Yeah, today's very clean and rainy. It's very ugly, but that's the update.
whole schedule if you feel like that works for you it doesn't work for me and I just burnt myself if you guys can see like that white part hold on let me see if I can focus focus there um I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like white but I took my our dishwasher was drying the dishes and then I touched the hot ring on accident because there was a plastic fork at the bottom that was burning and so my pinky finger touched it and now like my finger feels like it's on fire and it is white so I'm in pain <laughs> right now but anyways like I said I do recommend you guys doing things something on a schedule it makes things a lot more easier but it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for everybody I just can't do it because I get things done quicker or it might take me slower depending on how long I try to do them but anyways I have class in like what 45 minutes so I'm probably gonna watch some TV yeah that's not my schedule but like I said I finished earlier than I thought I would finish and for ELA because I'm in an advanced class I'm in an advanced math class which is also great about NCBA when I was in a brick and mortar school they gave us the same exact work as basic sixth grade classes and the sixth grade you know we had to take the basic sixth grade classes if you were in advanced class you would just take the same exact thing which is kind of purposeless so honestly once I actually got into the advanced class this school year I have a lot more room to grow and there is a clear difference of what in basic seventh grade class would be in a advanced seventh grade class so I don't have ELA I don't have ELA all week except for I have it on Wednesdays and Thursdays those are the only days I have ELA and I have history and math every day which I used to not have but I guess they're doing that now we have history every day we used to just have history Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays but now we have it every day yeah it's just kind of like this twisty loop thing I don't have all classes every single day so yeah that's great for ELA our assignment is to read a little passage um, in class and we're supposed to answer the questions together so I don't have class till Wednesday, so that means I won't be able to do that till Wednesday. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I was going to do, watch some TV. I'm currently watching the series Casey Undercover. Um, I'm on season three. I've been watching season one, episode one, all the way now till now, and I'm trying to finish that. So I watched Shake It Up, the whole series the whole series of good luck charlie and now i'm on case down to cover and i might do austin and alley after that so i'm on disney plus by the way um but yeah so pretty much i guess i'm on track but i'm gonna go ahead and watch tv and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye okay you guys so i am now at class i know this is very aggravating it's a little acne but it's okay so pretty much i'm in math class and i am doing ixl because today is catch up day, so pretty much you can catch up in any class um, you want to on Mondays. But I ca I'm caught up in all my work because I never like to be behind or have anything past the due date. But this is a, di a diagnostic test for math. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm probably going to get ready for, or I can edit until my virtual ensemble. And that will be pretty fun to show you guys that. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Gotta do all these little things here. But I got my little Panda Express. Smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Man, it looks so good. <laughs> so anyways, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done with school or when I'm done with math. Peace. Hey guys, it is 1.58 and I'm going into my live class for my virtual ensemble and I wanted to show you some of the things that we do and you guys have already met Miss Rose in the beginning of this video and she is directing our virtual ensemble slash choir and so <laughs> here I am logging in getting into this online virtual ensemble. So I pretty much start off, I like to log in like five minutes early. Yeah, but I click in the link and I get started. Normally there's a lot of people on Fridays because we have tenors, sopranos, and altos. But today is Monday, which is just the altos. So there's not going to be a lot of people here today. But here is our music that we're working on. We are working on This Is Me and um, Why Does the Willow Weep, which I, which I think we finished the finishing product. But I'm about to log into Zoom. Okay, there we go. And you guys will get to see how it works. So let's, let's get started. I'm turning my little lamp on, okay? <laughs> I organized my office so that way I wasn't like, well, I don't know where anything is. So now I do know where things are. 
want to see my fancy new shelf? I'm going to show it to you anyway, because I want to. Okay. So, okay. First of all, I've got a new chair, which I'm excited about. Oh, so cute. Look at my shelf. It's so uh, organized and nice and not the millions of boxes. So, anyway. Thank you. So, she got kicked out of my door. Oh, and Tanaya, you're leaving me too. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Also, just internet's dying. Tanaya's leaving me. But... No, it's fine. Do you need to go get something? Do you... Oh, you had to close your door. Okay, that's fine. Um, it looks like Mari's internet might have died. So. Hopefully she'll be back because she also got kicked out of Blackboard, but um, we are going to work on new sections of This Is Me, and we are going to work on our next piece, which is the acapella Best Day of My Life piece, which should be pretty fun, and we are still going to work on Why Does the Little Weep a little bit, um, but not quite as heavily as before, so it's, it's Monday, so we'll, we'll do the best we can. All right. We'll go ahead and start warming up and hopefully Mari will be back in. you guys so i'm pretty much done for the day and this is probably the end of the video so yes i do recommend you guys if you live in north carolina or any other state that has an online school powered by k-12 i recommend it for you but if you do live in north carolina i do recommend ncba it is an amazing online school i love it and i can't wait to come back next school year because it is so amazing and yeah there's just so much to it like there's even clubs like there's online clubs you can have a cooking class you can have a diy class there's science class like there's so many other things that you can get into and it's just so amazing and plus they have field trips monthly like before this pandemic or whatever there has been field trips every month where you can go or every area there's a little um 
field trip. They called it outings and you just get to go out and have fun um, and learn and explore. And I thought that was super cool. So there's just a lot of things and I hope you guys choose to go into NCBA. And if you choose to, I'll put a link in the description. And I'll also put a link in the description to go into K-12 if you live in any other area other than North Carolina so you guys can be in an online school. So. Um, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, I do recommend it, especially during this pandemic. It's a little bit harder to do remote learning other than online school. I feel like online school is a lot more better than remote learning. According to how my little sister's doing it, it's a little bit difficult. But I can contact my teachers, I have classes, I'm getting good grades, and everything is just together and it's not confusing at all. Uh, you just got to learn. Um, I learned how to log into my classes like that every single morning, every single day, and you know, it's just the point of actually doing it. So I hope you come into online school. Um, parents, I recommend it for your child because you don't have to teach your kid, you don't have to help them. It's their teachers, that's their job to help them. They're certified like just any other teacher in a brick and mortar school. All they're doing is doing it online. So. I recommend it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below you guys tell me how you guys like this video and if you want me to do more videos on being online maybe you want some tips or things like that let me know and also let me know if you're trying to be online or if you're trying to put your child online let me know in the comments and um, we'll talk about that so um, I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time peace and love